Ridge Shields gets a start. 6'3 junior, 25 points a game. Rodney Gallagher, 6 foot uh, senior, 20.8 a game. He's at number two. Mason Bullish, a 5'11 senior, 4.5 points a game. He's number three. Number 15 is Patrick Cavanaugh, 6 foot three, senior forward, 3.5 points a game. And getting the start tonight is a 6'2 sophomore. Uh, number 32, Antoine Black, 5.3 a game. And Steve, the place certainly starting to fill up, and I think a lot of anticipation around the game tonight as well with Keandre to Shields just being 18 points shy of 1,000 in his career. Well, uh, sooner or later he was going to get it, and it looks like probably tonight will be the night. He's averaging 25 a game, so he only needs 18. So you would think, uh, especially with uh, their guy Berger being out, it might be a uh, you know, situation where he might uh, get that rather early, but uh, you know, just uh, that'll come, and I'm sure it'll be a celebration. And maybe, I don't know if they'll stop the game, give him the ball, or anything like that. But uh, you know, it's uh, you know, been a he's been a heck of a player, and he's uh, had a heck of a high school career, and he's uh, and it's got almost a full year to go here in his senior year. You look at Rodney Gallagher as well. He's now 1,525 career points. He went over. 1,500 of the Mustangs win against McKeesport a week ago Friday. He still has an opportunity to make a run at the Laurel Highlands all-time scoring record, which stands just over 1,900 points. Yeah, well, he's, uh, he's going to have to, you know, he's going to have to average probably, uh, uh, you know, almost 25 a game to get that. But, uh, you know, I don't think uh, he's the kind of kid that's too concerned about point records. He wants to win, and I don't think there's uh, anyone uh, – um, you know, that's been on, uh, you know, a big part of two WPL championship teams at Laurel Highlands. So, you know, that's probably the most important uh, record that uh, he can shake out. And, uh, you know, still got uh, one more season to go with a pretty darn good basketball team on his side right now. And he's also going to sign his official national letter of intent to play football at West Virginia tomorrow. Yeah, well, that's uh, good for him. He's... Uh, He's earned that, and he's uh, hopefully he'll have a good career down there. And uh, you know he's, uh, you know, I'm sure he's pretty excited to get down there and uh, show what he can do. Again, the Mustangs taking on the Thomas Jefferson Jaguars. Laura Highlands entering at four and zero. Thomas Jefferson at four and two. And the Jags again going to have to make do without their leading scorer Evan Berger tonight. We checked down at the scores table, asked for a reason that Berger's out, and they said undisclosed. So. Pretty much none of our business down there, Steve. None of our business. So they, they wanted to tell you they would, and they didn't. Uh, so, hey, it, it is what it is. Uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, we could speculate till the, whole, the game's over, and it doesn't really matter. He's not playing, and, uh, you know, that's going to really hurt him. I mean, I mean, they have other players, obviously, next man up mentality, but when you lose 27 points a game on a high school basketball team, uh, that's uh, pretty hard to replace. We're back with the opening tip-off right after this. Laurel Highlands hosting Thomas Jefferson here on WMBS, the Triple High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer litigated over 275 civil and criminal trials, some of which have been aired on Oprah, Inside Edition, and ESPN. Having an engineering degree, master's in business administration, and law degree qualifies him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. His firm concentrates in wills, trusts, estates, property transfers, personal injury, solar field and Marcellus gas negotiations, and family law. Small enough to care and smart enough to win. Phone 724-425-1162 or email Tommy Schaefer at Hotmail.com. Ho, ho, ho. Go to Ford of Uniontown and trade me in. This is Dominic Carbone and Stanley Bartlett here to tell you about Ford of Uniontown's holiday sales event. Holiday hobby what are you? We got the largest new inventory we've had in over a year, with interest rates as low as 0% for 36 months and 2.9 for 60 months on select models. Blast these Christmas deals! And remember, Santa's workshop never shuts down, so we have a huge selection of certified cars, trucks, and SUVs to choose from. Go to Ford of Uniontown and trade me in! One person's trade is another one's potpourri. Also, all month long, for every vehicle sold, we'll be donating $100 to local charities. Cheer up, dude. It's Christmas. The Grinch knows, shouldn't you? Top of the hill, cross from Applebee's. 724-425-5980 or FordOfUniontown.com. Price excludes taxes and transfer fees includes all applicable incentives and must finance with Ford Motor Credit. Fayette County Recorder of Deeds, John Marietta, would like to wish the best of luck to the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, the Uniontown Red Raiders, and all of our local teams this year. 
He would also like to recognize all of the talented student athletes who showcased their efforts either on the field or on the sidelines as members of the cheerleading squad or band during game time and halftime performances. Again, this message brought to you by Fayette County Recorder of Deeds, John Marietta, wishing everyone the best of luck this year. This message has been paid for by HBJ Radio. South Union Township Supervisor Rick Vernon has spent his life helping others. Now in his 17th year of service, he previously served us as a district judge for 24 years after eight years of teaching our kids. Like in basketball, Rick Vernon knows that it takes a team to produce winning results. Let's keep our great team of supervisors together. Rick Vernon says, go team! Stop by Big Al's Market and Six Pack Shop on North Gallatin Avenue in Uniontown. Family owned and operated by Phil Lucioni and Dominic Sabatini, Big Al's features two one topping pizzas and a two liter for $21.99. Or try an Italian hoagie and a 20 ounce drink for $6.99. Check out some of Big Al's other homemade food items, including pasta salads, macaroni salads, and deli items. Big Al's Market and Six Pack Shop, 72 North Gallatin Avenue. Phone 724 550 4252. Prime Rosak and Steve Superk back here at Laurel Highlands High School. Just about set to go. Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Thomas Jefferson Jaguars. The Mustangs and their home whites. Blue numbers, red trim. Their bench off to our left. Thomas Jefferson and their away golds with black numbers. And their bench off to our right. The Jags being introduced right now again for Thomas Jefferson. Lowry, Prosser, Pudignano, Sullivan, and Evans for the Mustangs. The Shields, Gallagher, Bullish, Cavanaugh, and Antoine Black. Blaze Krisner is back dressed tonight for Laurel Highlands. So they'll have Blaze available as well this evening. Blaze had a 13-point game against Erie McDowell earlier on this season. Well, should be uh, good to get uh, him back. And, uh, again, the Mustangs, uh, they're going to start black tonight, so he'll get a chance uh, uh, to maybe get a couple more minutes. But uh, should be uh, should be a lot of fun tonight. And uh, we're looking to see how... Uh, our man Keandre comes out flying out tonight, being a, so close to 1,000 points. And see, the Mustangs have also gotten better play off of their bench over the last couple of games as well. Michael Bittner stepped up. Nathan Schwartzfeger's had some nice games. When you can add a little bit of depth to this Mustang team, because that was a big question mark coming into the season, even adds to their danger level when you get in a conference play in January. Yeah, and, uh, you know, you need those uh, role players, if you will. I mean, those kids, uh, you never know. You know, injury, foul trouble, suspension, whatever. I mean, anything, as you know, something's going to happen. I mean, it happens every year. Something will happen. So you're going to need some of those guys to step up. And, uh, you know, the quality of, uh, of your depth of your bench is a very important role, especially as we get later on in the year. And the Mustangs will not have Rodney Gallagher for their two games against Elizabeth Ford and Albert Gallitz in the first week in January since Rodney's playing in the U.S. All-American game down at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. So those are going to be two conference games which count in the standings, and you're really going to have to test your bench there for sure. And you have Sean Sullivan in the center circle for Thomas Jefferson. Keandre DeShields jumping here for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Billy Beaner will step into the center circle and get this contest underway between Laurel Highlands and Thomas Jefferson from Mustang High School here at the campus of Laurel Highlands High School, and Billy Beaner puts the ball in the air, and the opening tap goes back to Antoine Black, and we're underway with the Mustangs working left to right as we describe it. Big and game, Billy. You know, it's a big game if Beaner's here. Yes, he is. Rodney, a little switch with Antoine Black back between the circles to Keandre, far wing Mason Bullish, sending it down to Keandre, who will tip it up and in for the opening two points of the game. Keandre to Shields, and our buddy Big George wanted to us to pass along a little hello to him as well tonight, listening down Big in Delaware. Big George yep. down in Delaware. He's got that foam finger flying down there, I'm sure. And the Mustangs off to an early 2-0 lead. Almost a little mishandle there from Sullivan. Saved up top from Lowry. And they'll reset again to Noah Prosser. Prosser out on the near side now to Pudignano. Pulling it back again to Noah Prosser. Trying to work here on Black. Double team comes over. Kicked in the corner. Three on the way. Short there from Ryan Lowry. A little scrum for the loose ball rebound. Kept alive on the offensive glass by the Jags. And a missed three there from Prosser. And finally a Mustang rebound as Gallagher out of the pack with it there for Laurel Highlands. Rodney handing off down low. And a little floater up and good for Patrick Cavanaugh. So for an answer down of the gates for the Mustangs here in the opening one minute and five seconds. You see right now Coach DeSico telling his team to spread it out. He probably wants to run some clock even though they're behind early just to 
slow this game down, try to keep it as close as they can, as long as they can. Sullivan pulling it back to Noah Prosser on the far side. Tough matchup there with Gallagher on him. Little switch in the corner with Evans. Good ball moving around the arc. Sullivan with it right now, working off to his right. Far elbow, put it off the glass shot. No good. Evans went for the rebound. Deflected out of bounds. Went off of Laura Highlands and out. I don't know. Sake. Billy Beaners had it going off of Mustangs, but I think that ball was definitely off of... Uh, yeah, that, uh, the Jaguars it. caught it and threw it out of bounds. Mustang never touched it, and the other official came in. We didn't get his name, but uh, he was Johnny on the spot for us at that time, wasn't he? And made the correction, and the Mustangs get the basketball back up 4 nothing. Here at the 6-17 mark of the opening quarter as Gallagher brings it across, directs traffic. Hop to Mason Bullish, again wearing the face cover. He took a shot up high against Connellsville, and he misses on a three. Antoine Black, the offensive rebound, back to Keandre. Jumper from the foul line, no good. Little poke out there from Kavanaugh, back to Black. And the Mustangs rebounding well on this possession. And talking to head coach Rick Hogger during our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show, he said that's certainly been an area of concern, even going back to last year. Yeah. Here's... Keandre, a little poke there from Prosser. Back to Keandre again, high on the left. Watch there from Prosser. Back to Rodney Gallagher again, watched by Lowry. Gallagher on the inside, handing off Keandre. Nice little move on the inside, couldn't finish. And the rebound tip back out to Noah Prosser. Numbers coming back here for the Jags. Three up top, good. Nothing but net there, Noah Prosser. And just like that, Thomas Jefferson back to within one of Laurel Highlands at four to three. And they called that a three. I thought he had his foot on the line, but... The official was behind the play and gave it to him. Here's Gallagher again up top for the Mustangs. Left of the lane. His floater no good. Rebound tipped around and controlled there by Pudignano for Thomas Jefferson. Dom brings it across. Watched by Bolas. Sent off far side NBA range three. Prosser this time off the mark. Hit the support out of bounds and back over to the Mustangs. So 5.02 left here in the opening quarter. Laurel Highlands a 4-3 lead over Thomas Jefferson. Baskets from Keandre DeShields and Patrick Cavanaugh. Noah Prosser a three for Thomas Jefferson. Gallagher back across for the Mustangs. It'll float her off to Antoine Black. To his right, Mason Bullish near side. Rodney sending it off right of the lane to Keandre. Backing off now. Watch there by Sullivan. Keandre to his left. Back to Gallagher up top. Long three from Rodney. Good. Rodney Gallagher showing his range there, Steve. That's his 14th May 3 of the season. Puts the Mustangs on top, 7-3. To 4.29 left here in the opening quarter. Lowry sending it out to Pudignano. Back to Lowry. Good ball moving over to Prosser to his left to Brody Evans. Plays catch with Prosser, trying to answer back with a three, and does just that. His second May 3 of the game. He has six. In fact, all of the Jags points. Keeping them in the game. 7-6, Mustangs by one. 4.05 left here in the first. Keandre high on the left. Watched by Noah Prosser, set near side over to Rodney. Kavanaugh was setting the screen as Rodney works it off to Keandre again on the far side. Keandre left of the lane, long two on the way, good. Keandre to Shields, he has four. Now he's 14 shy of 1,000 as the Mustangs go up by three at 9-6, 3.43. to six, Left here in the opening quarter. Pudignano trying to spin off a bullish kick back in the corner. Evans, his three ball at the front of the rim. No good. Antoine Black uh, with a rebound there for the Mustangs. Off to Gallagher and across. Here's Rodney off to Antoine Black. Far wing kick to the corner. Mason Bullish resetting to Rod up top. Looking for another long three. This one off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound tipped around and controlled by Brody Evans of Thomas Jefferson. Touch from Prosser around the arc. Sullivan near side. Lowry coming near baseline. Try to hand it off, but the pass intended for Prosser was deflected, but TJ able to get back on. Lowry resetting now edge of the zone. 3.02 left in the first. Thomas Jefferson the basketball down three. Pudignano off to his right. Three for the tie off the back iron. No good there from Prosser. Evans going for the rebound. Nice save back to Sullivan here on the near wing. Good job by Evans to tip the ball to himself and then able to keep his feet in bounds and then get it back out and play. Here's Evans again, touch from Lowry, back near side Prosser on the switch, Pudignano came inside and had it blocked away by Kavanaugh. Into the hands of Gallagher, Rodney driving back and will float it up. Shot attempt, no good, but Kavanaugh able to clean it up. His second make of the night to give him four, the Mustangs go back up five at 11 to six, 220 good. left here in the opening good quarter. Good job by the Mustangs, uh, Kavanaugh and uh, the Shields hustling down there to get the miss. Lowry, a little finger roll finish. Ryan Lowry, his first two of the game. 
5'10 senior, came in averaging 11.7 a game, and Thomas Jefferson back to within three of Laurel Highlands at 11.8. Nice floater by Lowry off the glass. Here's Keandre, watched there by Lowry. Keandre, no look feed, down low, bullish, wide open, lays it up and in. So four Mustangs in the scoring column already, and the make there for Bullish gives Laurel Highlands a five-point lead at 13-8. And Noah Prosser brings it back across. Back in the corner, Lowry coming baseline. Near corner, Pudignano resetting block from Kavanaugh with a foul called down low. What do you think of that, Steve? <laughs> well, we've had our issues over the years. And... Uh, that, uh, yeah, looked like a clean block, but they're going to say he got him with the body. It almost could have been a charge, right? I mean, it's, uh, I guess you got to call something there one way or the other. First foul on either side as Pudignano misses on the first of two free throw attempts. His first free throw attempt of the season. Now for a second of two. It's been on the way and no good as well. Well, as we said, used to say in the streets of New Brunswick, the ball never lies as they come away with no points. Keandre, long three, near side off the mark. Battle for the rebound underneath. Tipped around, controlled by Kavanaugh. Good feed, Antoine Black, unable to finish. Just take your time and just rushed it a little bit. Sean Sullivan came out of the pack with it, has it again here near wing in the Mustang zone. Lost the dribble, has Black all over him. Switches back Ryan Lowry. Lowry from the foul line, touch out there to Pudignano. Trying to back it on Keandre, resetting over to Prosser, and back out Pudding. Not out looking for the three, not this time. Hustles gets his own rebound, comes back inside. Resets here on the near wing to Lowry. Up top again, Sullivan looking for the three out the back iron. No good, and Antoine Black, the rebound there for the Mustangs. There's a lot of action there. Might have lost our yeah. radio feed. Still here on the video side. We'll get our radio audience back on with 43 seconds. Left here in the opening quarter, a 13-8 lead for the Mustangs over the Jags. Cody Karcher checks in for the Jaguars. I think we lost our video feed here as well, Steve. Uh-oh. Jaguars still have the ball, and now you have, that's Lowry on top, gives it over to uh, Karcher. And a bucket by Prosser. That gives him eight points for the day. You by name. Casey Sports Cafe, owned and operated by the Vernon family and located at 243. Vernon Avenue in Union Town is announcing they will have new evening hours. New hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And Saturday and Sunday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come in to Casey Sports Cafe and check out the new menu items and entrees. Casey's can also cater your next event. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, Casey's is the place to eat. Phone 724-550-4126 for Casey Sports Cafe. Welcome back uh, to Laurel Highlands High School. We're having some technical difficulties on the video feed. We're not sure, quite sure if you can hear me or not, but uh, Brian's uh, frantically working over there on the uh, equipment, so I'm going to kind of take you along for a ride here as the Mustangs on top 13-10. to 10. We get ready to start the second quarter. Jaguars doing a pretty good job of hanging in there, and the Jaguars will have the ball to start this second quarter, again, 13-10 lead, and they bring it into Lowry, brings it, uh, just walks it across the timeline, and he gives it over there to Egerton. 
who throws it around the top. And they get the ball back to Prosser. And now it's into Sullivan now. A long three from Prosser off the rim. No good. And then the Mustangs just let it go out of bounds as Kavanaugh and, and um, Black did a good job of boxing out the Jaguar offensive player to keep him from getting that rebound. Now the Mustangs come up and Gallagher will bring it across. You got Gallagher, Black, and Krisner in there with Kavanaugh and DeShields. Krisner on the top of the key. Brian, back, you ready to go? Not yet. And he is, he's still working on his equipment. And DeShields has it on. Oh, nice feed into, into Kavanaugh who misses the layup and the rebound goes to Lowry who catches it and lands on the end line. So the Mustangs will get a break there and get the ball back. And 7.15 to go, still no score here in this second quarter. 13 to 10, Mustangs on top. Gallagher throws it in the black, top of the key. He looks over to, that's Krisner off the mark. And a rebound, here's a long outlet pass. Prosser down, lays it up and in against two defenders. That was Gallagher and the Shields trying, but could not stop Prosser from laying that in as they get back within one, 13 to 12. And welcome back, Brian. Also, welcome back in our video audience. Not sure why we lost the stream, Steve. And the Mustangs having a little trouble here. Only yeah. up one at 13-12 yeah. to 12 here at the 650 mark yeah. of the second quarter. Kavanaugh turns it over up top, and they're just a little disheveled. No score. And Mustangs have not scored. Missed a couple of shots and a nice long rebound. And Prosser gets down and gets the bucket. He's got 10 points keeping the Jaguars in this game. You have Lowry over there on the far side trying to work on Black. Come far baseline. It'll bounce off to Cody Karcher, who just checked in. Right side, Cam Egerton. And Egerton down low. And they're going to get Rodney there for the foul. Yeah, good job by Egerton to get Gallagher up in the air. Gallagher really showed some leaping ability there, but he got up in the air, nowhere to go. And then Eger or, uh, Egerton just kind of threw himself into Gallagher to get the foul. First of two free throws, good there for Cam Egerton. That ties the game at 13 all. What was the score, Steve, after one? I was 13, trying to get 10. our 13 10 after one. But the Mustangs have yet to score into this, into this uh, second quarter. And Egerton makes both free throws, and Thomas Jefferson now up 14 13 on Laurel Highlands with 626 left before halftime. Here's Keandre to Shields playing catch there with Rodney. Far side over to Blaze Krisner. A little bounce back to Rodney. Touch into Kavanaugh out to Keandre. Will fire the three. It's off the mark. Battle for the rebound. And control there by Thomas Jefferson's Ryan Lowry. Lowry back across there for the Jags. Pulling it off there to Cam Egerton. Egerton a little poke. Saved there by Lowry. Pulled back out near side. Sean Sullivan floating it up. No good. And Kavanaugh the rebound there for the Mustangs. Off to Rodney Gallagher and across. Gallagher right down the lane getting fouled underneath. You know of a pair of free throws upcoming. And that foul's going to go on Lowry. And that uh, Gallagher flying down the lane. You can see Lowry on the other end. Uh, the Jaguars get a little intimidated with uh, that uh, that shot. Gallagher makes uh, makes the bucket. Came in 73 percent so far this season for the foul line. 24 of 33. Mustangs is a team 49 of 75, 65 percent. Gallagher second of two, good. So he has five. Mustangs now up one at 15 to 14. On the Thomas Jefferson side, I guess you have Prosser leading the way now with 10. And Gallagher make both those free throws. Correct. Got a little distracted there. Mustangs up one. Here's Prosser coming back for Thomas Jefferson. To give the Jags a lot of credit, Steve, without their leading score really hanging with Laurel Highlands in the corner. Lowry for three, rattling out. Loose ball rebound underneath, controlled by Keandre to Shields for Laurel Highlands. Keandre coming back, somehow lost it out of his hands. And picked up there by Noah Prosser for Thomas Jefferson. Then a foul called here at midcourt. Looks like they're going to get Blaze Krisner. They're going to get Krisner. Could have, could have easily been called on Kavanaugh. Either one, take your pick. But uh, they just poked it away. He helped Noah Prosser work it in here for the Jags. 5.27 left before halftime. 15-14 Mustangs. And a tight game so far. Shane Layton checks in the game for the Mustangs, a big 6-3 junior. Saw some action in Laurel Highland's last game against Connellsville. Here's Pudignano on the wing. Pulling it back up top, Prosser. 
Far side. Karcher a touch. Out again to Ryan Lowry. Lowry high on the right, trying to work off of Nathan Schwartzweger. Puts it off the glass. Shot attempt no good. He mentioned Leighton. He has the rebound there for Laurel Islands. The Mustangs up one with the basketballs. Keandre brings it across. Over to Rodney Gallagher. Far side to Blaze Krisner. Up top again, Rodney will spot up for the three, and it's off the back iron, no good. Keandre, the offensive rebound, trying to pull it back, goes out of bounds and ruled wow. Thomas Jefferson's basketball. Sure looked like Egerton tipped that one out, didn't it? I mean. I agree. In our live video stream, courtesy of Movement Physiotherapy and also Uniontown Detail. I have to thank them for their supports. I have to call them. I might uh, get my car clips. Winner's never any good in your car, is it? No, it's not. Maybe a winter car special going on right now as well at Uniontown Detail. So tipped out here on the near side will be Thomas Jefferson basketball as Cody Karcher will send it in. And the backcourt to Noah Prosser. Well, if you're a Jaguar fan, this really couldn't, couldn't work out much better. Low scoring game. Mustangs having trouble to score. And I agree. Jaguars are hanging in there. In a quarter, three ball off the mark there, Cody Karcher. Nathan Schwartzfeger, the rebound there for Laurel Highlands. Off to Keandre to Shields and across. Keandre up top. Now backing off here on Noah Prosser. Touch from Rodney and a timeout taken by Laurel Highlands head coach Rick Hogger. So take one as well. 4.05 left before halftime. 15-14, Laurel Highlands are back in 60 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. Attorneys from all over the state and nation advertise in southwestern Pennsylvania for personal injury and workers' comp cases, but most of them send their assistants to do the legwork. You might not even meet your attorney until your first hearing. We're local attorneys, Davis and Davis. We meet directly with our clients, including free consultation. There are no fees until you receive money on your case. If you've been injured, call Davis and Davis, representing you and your neighbors yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Call 724-437-2799. Are your dentures cracked, loose, broken, or missing a tooth? Or maybe it's time for a new set of dentures. Just call the office of Dr. Jonathan Krisner and Dr. Jennifer Haar at 600. Cherry Tree Lane in Uniontown. Thanks to their in-office denture lab, they can make your new dentures faster than other offices and in most cases, same-day denture repairs. They also offer teeth whitening, clear braces, and single-visit crowns. Call for your appointment, 724-438-0241 or visit their Facebook page. Michael Bittner throwing it over the shoulder and in, and then Keandre called for the goaltending on the other side on Cam Egerton's shot attempt. To give Egerton the two there to give him four for the game, and it's Laurel Highland 17, Thomas Jefferson 16 with 342 left until halftime. Uh, clearly that ball was going down, and then just, uh, you know, sometimes uh, even though that's a easy two for them, that's just a little bit of intimidation for later on. Gallagher driving back in traffic. The basket and one, Rodney Gallagher. Give him seven for the game. Can make it eight at the foul line as the Mustangs increase the lead now to three. And 19 to 16 with 327 left before halftime. Putagano gets the foul, his first. Now Gallagher's free throw up on the way in good. It should be now 20 to 16, Laurel Highlands. It is. With 325 left before halftime. Lowry back across. Lowry down the lane. Floater no good from Ryan Lowry. And Schwartzfeger the rebound there for Laurel Highlands. Off to Keandre and across. Back to Schwartzfeger near wing in the corner. Michael Bittner, quick three, no good. On the back side, the ball going right to Cody Karcher for Thomas Jefferson. Karcher back across. Touch forward there, Pudignano. Comes back outside the arc. Resets on the wing to Lowry. Touch up top, Karcher. Back inside, floater out in front. Good, Sean Sullivan. Sullivan's first two of the game. Thomas Jefferson back to within two of Laurel Highlands at 20 to 18. 2.48 left before halftime. Keandre in the late and try to go between defenders Travel. and a double dribble call. You surprised, Steve, how well Thomas Jefferson is playing without Berger tonight? Uh, no, it's, I think they're just playing good defense and they're, they're you're keeping the Mustangs kind of, you know, just 20 points almost halftime. That's a lot less than they're usually scoring, so the defense is doing a good job. And, uh, you know, they're hanging in there. And the longer this goes like this to obviously uh, – you know, they, they've got to be gaining confidence, but they're playing well. Lowry pulling it off near side, Sean Sullivan. Touching it off on the near elbow. The jumper no good there from Noah Prosser. Gallagher out of the pack with it for the Mustangs. Pulling it back, far wing, Schwartzfeger. 
Switches back with Michael Bittner. Bittner back between the circles, touching it off to Rodney. Down to Keandre, little ball fake. Now he'll shoot and connect. Keandre to Shields, been a little quiet tonight, only six here in the first half. Now 12 shy of 1,000 for his career. And the Mustangs go back up four, 22 to 18. Brian Lowry, good feed down low, but too high for Brody Evans. Evans was wide open, Steve. That could have been an easy two if they could have connected on that pass. Well, easy. Nothing easy when you got guys like uh, the Shields and Gallagher down there defending. He, you know, he threw it to a spot or he thought his guy could get to it and he just over, over, overcooked it a little bit. Rodney again up top, sending it off to Mason Bullish. Back to Rod. Far side, Keandre, a little ball fake back in the corner to Michael Bittner, who drains the three. Told you, Steve, Bittner's been big off the bench. Another big shot there. And Laurel Highlands now going up 7 at 25 to 18. That's five off the bench for Bittner here in the second quarter. Little slip regain, Lowry back near side. Prosser trying to work here on Bittner. Switches back, Sean Sullivan trying to sit in the corner, got intercepted. It's Rodney Gallagher racing back. Gallagher between defenders, couldn't finish. Keandre going for the rebound. Comes up, goes strong, and able to connect with a quick two there. That's eight for Keandre. Mustangs, a little surge going up nine. Timeout, Dom DeSico. Take a timeout as well. 27-18 Mustangs. We're back in 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Movement Physiotherapy is here to serve you. Now located off Route 40 on Pedro Drive, west of Uniontown, Movement Physiotherapy treats back issues, knee and ankle pain, shoulder, hip, neck, and balance issues, and provides post-surgical rehab. Using aquatic therapy, manual therapy, therapeutic exercise, soft tissue massage, electrical stimulation, running analysis, and balance programs, Tyler Gasek and his team are ready to improve your health with physical therapy. To schedule your appointment, phone 724-912-PTPT or visit Movement Physiotherapy online at movementpp.com. Yeah. Oh. Hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. We come back after the timeout. A quick two for Thomas Jefferson's Brody Evans. Jags back to within seven of the Mustangs at 27 to 20. 43 seconds left before halftime. Here's Gallagher again up top. Good timeout to by DeSico there to settle down his guys. Bittner quick three halfway down and rattled back out. Rebound going to Ryan Lowry for Thomas Jefferson. Lowry back across, touches off Sean Sullivan. Sullivan working here between defenders, and he'll put it up and in and draw the foul in the process. So Sullivan playing hard. He has four second quarter points, can make it five at the line. Jags still hanging around, down seven at 27 to 20. Did they call that on Chris? That should be on Bittner, right? They posted it on Bittner. Yeah, there he goes. Now Sullivan, who came in six of ten this season from the free throw line. Missing on his foul attempt here. Quick whistle, what do we got? Looks like a foul on Thomas Jefferson. Foul on Evans. Trying to get the rebound. It's the fourth team foul. 21.1 left. So. Actually, it's 27-22 there late putting that last basket up. So the Mustang lead down to five. 21 seconds left before halftime. They'll roll it up the court to Rodney. Watched there by Ryan Lowry. Rodney working off to his left. Keandre setting the screen. Rodney's double team. Off to Keandre. They'll get him for a travel. Keandre slammed it in, but it's not going to count. But I never understand that. Sometimes when they roll the ball up there, you know, try to save time before they. Then they roll it up there, then he catches it, and then he stands there with the ball for four seconds. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. There was like me. 22 seconds when he inbounded, so they had plenty of time. Right. On the far side, Jags trapped and rolled out of bounds. They're off of Cam Egerton and out. Now so, with two seconds, you might want to roll I it agree. if they... Uh, now if the Jags are going to let him do that. Keandre into Rodney. Rodney from midcourt actually hit that little netting that they the have class, up yeah. top there. Weren't able to roll it up all the way, so the ball going high there when the second quarter with Laurel Highlands up 27-22. We're back to 
Recap the first half numbers here in a moment. Our halftime show brought to you by the Radcliffe Law Firm. Comes your way next year on WMBS Triple Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. The WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital Orthopedic and Spine Institute is open, and their experienced providers are ready to care for you. Orthopedic and Spine Care spans a wide range of problems, from arthritis to joint trauma caused by injury or overuse. Hips, shoulders, knees, and backs are the most common areas where patients experience pain or impaired function. At WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital, they can treat orthopedic and spine problems with state-of-the-art care. Their board-certified orthopedic surgeons and specialists are well-experienced in the latest treatments for damaged and diseased joints. They offer everything from physical therapies to joint repairs and joint replacements. Whenever possible, the newest, minimally invasive techniques are used to ensure quicker recovery, less pain, and less damage to surrounding tissues. To learn more about the newly opened Orthopedic and Spine Institute at WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital or to schedule an appointment, call 724-912-7533 or visit wvumedicine.org slash uniontown. WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital, the new us, here for you. Keep your legal needs close to home. Attorney Vincent T. Berry specializes in criminal justice, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. Attorney T. Berry is located at 84 East Main Street across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Uniontown. When you need to consult an attorney, make your first call to Attorney Vince T. Berry. It will be the only call you need to make. Call 724-430-0300. At 724-430-0300. Are you looking to list or sell your house? Now is the time to let the professionals at Caldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty help you with all of your real estate needs. Caldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty has two convenient locations to better serve you. In Uniontown area, 724-437-7100. Or in Connellsville area, 724-628-7200. And speak with one of our real estate professionals. Visit our website, caldwellbanker.com. We have been proudly serving western Pennsylvania area for over 30 years and look forward to helping you with all of your real estate needs. Broker, Paul Borges. Going on now, it's the other Chevy East. Get a new 2023 Chevy Equinox for only $269 per month. Stop in for a test drive or visit SeaHarperChevyEast.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. Lease with the GMF for well-qualified individuals, 24 months at 10,000 miles yearly, with 2,999 on tax rate equity down, with GMF loyalty or conquest. Payment is for tax title fees and for tenants. Sale ends January 3rd, 2023. Bought supplies last. Call dealer for all other details at 724-668-2231. Ready for an easier way to manage your cards? Get more power, peace of mind, and security with the new updated app from First Federal of Greene County. Set spending limits, view merchant details, subscriptions, and where your card is stored. Plus, turn off lost or stolen cards. It's card management on your terms. Download the updated app or visit ffgc.bank. First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS number 458729. Did you know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same-day appointments, and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. We will make sure that you are treated as an individual and will work directly one-on-one with you to help achieve your goals. You have tried the rest. Now try the best. NovaCare, Delaware Avenue in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-0556 to schedule your appointment today. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Prime Rosanek and Steve Subert back here at halftime, 27-22. Mustangs over the Thomas Jefferson Jaguars. Let's take a look at our halftime stats. They're being brought to you by First Federal Savings Loan Association of Greene County. Steve? Okay, for the Jaguars, Larry finishes with two points. Prosser with ten. And uh, Egerton with four. Sullivan with four. And Evans with two. They scored ten in the first, 12 in the second, 22 at the half for the the Mustangs, the Shields, eight points. Gallagher with eight. Bullis with two. Bittner off the bench with five. Kavanaugh, four. And they had 
13 in the first, 14 in the second for a 27 to 22 halftime lead. And our scoreboard brought to you by Peachin's Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peachin Market. Uniontown with a win this morning over Central High School of Tuscaloosa, Alabama by a score of 63 to 41. Red Raiders will play at 2.30 tomorrow afternoon. Here at Laurel Highlands tonight, the Mustangs a 27-22 lead over the Thomas Jefferson Jaguars. Laurel Highlands will be back in action on Thursday night as they'll take on the Gateway Gators. We're on the air at 6.45 with our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show opening tip-off set for 7.30 on Thursday night, Gateway and Laurel Highlands. Again, here at halftime tonight, it's Laurel Highlands 27, Thomas Jefferson 22. Second half comes your way next here on WMBS, the Triple I High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer litigated over 275 civil and criminal trials, some of which have been aired on Oprah, Inside Edition, and ESPN. Having an engineering degree, master's in business administration, and law degree qualifies him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. His firm concentrates in wills, trusts, estates, property transfers, personal injury, solar field and Marcellus gas negotiations, and family law. Small enough to care and smart enough to win. Phone 724-425-1162 or email Tommy Schaefer at Hotmail.com. When you are looking to make some extra cash for your aluminum cans, visit Cherokee Recycling, where aluminum can is king. Cherokee Recycling is open Monday through Friday, 9 till 5, and Saturdays, 8 till 12 noon, closed Sundays and holidays. Give Marcus or Rags a call today at 724-439-3228 for Cherokee Recycling, where recycling makes the most sense. Whether you just found it or you've lived there for years, you'll never forget that feeling. It was something that made you realize this house would become your home. And since there's no place like it, it deserves protection just as special. Local Allstate agent Russ Bleo can help you customize an Allstate house and home insurance policy and point out lots of ways to save, like claim-free rewards, extra savings every year you don't file a claim. Call Union 10 Area Allstate agent Russ Bleo today. Coverage and discounts subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Savings vary. Allstate vehicle and property insurance Pizza, beer, atmosphere, it's all at Mom Maruca's Pizza, located on Barton Mill Road in Uniontown. Mom Maruca's is your prime spot to enjoy local high school sports. Family owned and operated, the Sampson family carries on the tradition of homemade pizza, salads, wings, and the best Italian hoagie and homemade bruschetta in town. Mom Maruca's is open Monday through Saturday from 4 to 10 for indoor and outdoor dining and takeout. Don't forget Mom's catering services for your next party or gathering. Call 724-438-9066 or visit MomMarucaPizza.com for their menu and live music schedule. On the go? No time to stop? That's when you'll love Peach and Pharmacy's curbside pickup at Peach and Market in downtown Connellsville. Next time you have a prescription to get, let Peach and Pharmacy make it easy for you. Call ahead at 724-626-9600 or send a message. Let friendly curbside pickup keep you right where you want to be, in the driver's seat. Peach and Pharmacy. Your local pharmacy. Chris Parker, Jr., it's the holiday season, and the year is coming to an end. And here at Autoland, we're having great year-end deals. And with the Hyundai Getaway sales event, we have fantastic deals. Interest rates are high, so come take advantage of 0% APR financing for 36 months on the Sonata or Santa Fe Limited Editions. Plus, get $1,000 HMF bonus cash just in time for holiday gift giving. How about fuel economy and a low payment? We have a fantastic selection of fuel-efficient 2023 Elantras for holiday travel or winter vacations. Lease a new 2023 Elantra SE for only $219 per month. Just see us for details. And every new Hyundai comes with Hyundai Owner Assurance, America's Best Warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty, and 3-year free complimentary maintenance. Visit them online at AutolandHyundai.com or 25 East Fayette Street, downtown Uniontown. And Santa knows you'll always pay less to drive the best at Autoland Hyundai. Happy holidays from everyone at Autoland. <laughs> this is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Whether you have trouble swallowing, acid reflux, abdominal pain, bowel habit difficulties, or fatty liver disease, our team at U.S. Digestive Health is here for you. And importantly, if you have reached age 45, we urge you to follow the American Cancer Society guidelines and get a screening colonoscopy. To learn more, call us at 724-437-7677 or visit us at usdigestivehealth.com. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School, Brian Rosak along with Steve Supercrate to get the second half underway. The Mustangs at 
22 lead over the Thomas Jefferson Jaguars. Again, Thomas Jefferson being paced by Noah Prosser with 10. The Mustangs being led by Keandre DeShields and Rodney Gallagher with 8 apiece. Again, Keandre came in 982 career points. So his 8 in the first half gives him 990. So he needs 10 second half points to hit 1,000 for his career. But more importantly, Steve, the Mustangs have to try to worry about getting a win tonight. Well, they're up by 5, 27-22. And, uh, you know, taking a pretty good... Uh, Effort from uh, Thomas Jefferson, slowed the ball down, tried to play uh, some kind of control ball, a little, uh, they might have needed a shot clock on a couple of those possessions if uh, you know, they were just kind of moving the ball around and trying to keep it close. And they, they mission accomplished to have one little spurt from the Mustangs, had a little 10 point run there that got, uh, you know, they really had a tough time, um, you know, went from 13 to what was it, 13 to 10, and actually they were up. Uh, I think 13 to 8 at one point. Well, it was yeah, but it was 13 to 10 at the end of the quarter, and uh, Jaguars came out in the second half, scored the first four, and, uh, of course, then the Mustangs went on a little run. But, uh, yeah, pretty good uh, pretty good test for the Mustangs. Let's see how we uh, res they respond here as we start this third quarter. Mustangs working right to left as we described as Rodney Gallagher brings it across. Kavanaugh sets the screen. Rodney resets on the far wing. Little ball fake into the corner to Keandre. Thought about the three. Now comes far side. Drives and scores. Keandre to Shields. That's 10 for the game. Mustangs go up 29-22 and Keandre 8 away now from 1,000. Here's Pudignano up top to Ryan Lowry. Good ball movement. Touch from Sullivan. Near side back to Prosser. Hit a couple of those early threes. Been a little quiet since. Tried a little dump down. They got tipped by Black. Touched by Kavanaugh. Sent forward to Gallagher. And now Keandre spinning forward. Couldn't get the and one. But does draw the foul. And he'll have to earn it now at the free throw line. Yeah, he had visions probably uh, trying to throw one down there. Is that... Uh, it can't be. Uh, that's on Sullivan, number one. 11. Uh, 11, yeah. Now Keandre is first of two. Came in 66% this season for the free throw line. Makes his first of two here. Give him three for the third, 11 for the game. And the Mustangs go up eight at 30 to 22. 720 left here in the third. Now Keandre second of two, rattling in. So Keandre now 12 for the game. Mustangs going up eight at 30, or check that nine at 31 to 22 with 715 left here in the third. Posting up there is Evans, pulling it back to Lowry, to his left to Noah Prosser. Prosser high on the left, watched there by Mason Bullish. Goes cross court near side now to Lowry. Touched in the corner from Sullivan, who resets to the wing and sends it far side to Noah Prosser. Prosser playing catch with Lowry, working left of the lane, floating it up, no good, and they're going to get Evans for a foul off the rebound. Well, that was a, probably a good foul by Evans because. They were tipping that ball out, and they were going to have a three-on-one fast break with Gallagher on the left wing, and that uh, could have been a pretty exciting uh, play there for the Mustangs, but the foul was, uh, kind of thwarted it. Now they're playing a 2-3 zone. Trying to change up defenses on the Mustangs. Fade away long to Keandre, no good. Tipping from Gallagher is good, so Rodney Gallagher. Enters double figures with 10. Mustangs go up 11 at 33 to 22 with 6.30 left here in the third. Lowry sending it off to Sean Sullivan. Near side, Evans had an open look, didn't take the three, and sends an errant pass into the crowd on the far side and Time back out. over to Laurel Highlands. And TJ is going to take a timeout. We'll take one as well. 6.22 left here in the third. 33 22 Mustangs are back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. I'm attorney Bill Martin, partner at Radcliffe Law. I have experience in workplace accident cases for nearly 15 years. If you've been hurt at work and are trying to navigate a workers' compensation claim, are you being treated unfairly by your employer? When you're hurt at work, your employer's main goal is to get you back to work, but you may not be physically ready to do that. If you find yourself in a similar situation, call us at Radcliffe Law, 724-439-3939. We'll meet with you at no cost. Radcliffe Law, making the law personal. UPMC Centers for Rehab Services on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, brains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. 
They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Mustangs turned it over, but then Noah Prosser breaking back. Had it knocked out of bounds by Rodney Gallagher. So it'll stay TJ Ball here in the Laurel Highland zone. Ryan Lowry to trigger it in. 6-10 left here in the third. Mustangs 33, Jags 22. Yeah, lazy pass there by Black and trying to go kind of across uh, to the wing over to Gallagher. Just kind of floated it. And luckily for the Mustangs, they were able to get back, at least tip the ball out of bounds. Lowry between the circles, sending it out to his left to Cam Egerton back into the game on the Jags' side. Pulling it out to Sean Sullivan. Watch now by Keandre. Big possession here for the Jags. They want to try to hang in this game. Now down double digits. Egerton working on Kavanaugh. Back to Sullivan. He's trapped, trying to get out of it. Threw it off of Kavanaugh and out. The State Thomas Jefferson basketball. Well, good job by Cal uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Kavanaugh on that defensively on that possession. Really all over the place. Almost got a steal. And he's playing really good, uh, really good defense. Another poke out by Mason Bullish. Jags keep possession. Ryan Lowry to work it in again. Into Cody Karcher, it'll switch back to Ryan Lowry. Watched by Antoine Black. Black's been quiet in this game. Steam has yet to score so far tonight. Karcher pulling it off to Egerton. Another switch back to Sullivan. Watched again by Keandre. Works right in the lane. Double team comes over. And Mason Bullish forces a turnover. Forward to Black. And now Keandre, a little juggle. Did he get bumped? No. Called for the travel. Egerton made a little contact there, Steve. Thought we might have saw the foul, but we did not. Well, he stumbled. He got the little contact and forced Keandre uh, to just shuffle his feet a little bit. I think Keandre had visions of maybe getting up and trying to do a little showtime there, but he got bumped, and it could have been a foul, but no foul call, and they get the traveling call. So, big George in Delaware probably not happy with that call. Up top, long two, no good from Lowry. Rebound going right to Keandre. Keandre back across. Keandre up top, watched by Sullivan, sent far side, Antoine Black, back edge of the zone, Rodney Gallagher. Barks out of play with 450 left here in the third. Mustang still hanging on to an 11-point lead. Antoine now off to Rodney, high on the right. Watched by Egerton, trying to set up the alley-oop. Went to Keandre, did draw the foul on the shot attempt. Not the way they drew it up, Steve, but Keandre should get two here at the foul line. Well, he slipped in and got underneath uh, the defense. And I uh, think in NFL he might have been uh, called for first guy illegal touching because he went out of bounds and then came back in, did establish himself, but uh, able to... Uh, at least get the foul. He probably could have made that. Uh, he'd probably tell you he should have made that basket, but uh, still chipping away at that uh, thousand, isn't he? Made the first free throw, now five away. He's made his last three free throws. Make it four in a row. So he connects on another one to give him 14 for the game. So now four shy of 1,000 for his career. Big. Mustangs up 13 to 35 to 22. Big George has got his balloon machine out. He's probably blowing up some balloons now, getting ready for the celebration. Hope to get him one of those Keandre 1K t-shirts. Yeah. Big George is supposed to join us next week for the Mustangs games up at the CCBC Dome. Lowry missing on a leaner. Mustangs coming back. Gallagher driving inside, just scooping it up and in. Rodney, four here in the third, 12 for the game. And Laurel Highlands now opening up a 15-point lead at 37-22. to Wasn't this easy, though, early on, Steve? No. Yep. I give Thomas Jefferson's a pretty well-coached team. You know, win all those games. But from Lowry for three, sending it in. Yep. So Lowry connecting from the outside. Thomas Jefferson, a pretty good three-point shooting team. That's their third May three as, the team, as a team tonight. Came in just over 30% from outside the three-point arc. And they're doing all this without Berger, averaging 27 points a game. He's not in the on the court tonight for the Jaguars. Reasons unknown. For us, to us. Good ball movement there. Kavanaugh to Black, a miss. Keandre out in front. Gets it to go. So Keandre, a big third quarter. Eight here in the third. 16 for the game. Now technical two away foul. from 1,000. We have a technical foul call. That's going to be, I don't know if they're going to call that on yeah, Black, Kavanaugh. maybe. No, no, I, don't, I think he pointed at Kavanaugh, but he, he might have pointed at... 
I don't know who he pointed at. The official talking to Billy Beaner. So let's see what we get the call from Beaner. One, yeah, White won. So, so what will happen most likely is get, or, uh, the Shields will get to shoot his free throw for the N1, and then they'll get to shoot for the technical. He'll two down on the other side, and it'll be TJ Ball. Correct. After Keandre's one. Which it would have been their ball anyway. Correct. So Keandre picks up the technical after the foul went on Egerton for Thomas Jefferson. Keandre's free throw no good. That snaps a streak of four straight makes at the foul line for Keandre. So he'll hit 1,000 points on his next basket. And they're taking him out. So and now you'll have Noah Prosser shooting the technical free throws down on the other side. His first of two, no good as that one spun out for Prosser. Prosser scored a team high 10 for the Jags so far tonight and misses both free throws. In so, fact, Steve, Thomas Jefferson's only points of this third quarter were that Lowry. three made by Lowry. Yep. It was 27-22 Mustangs at halftime. And now a 39-25 lead for Laurel Highlands with 324 left here in the third. TJ does have the basketball working left to right as we describe it. No Keandre out there for the moment on the Laurel Highlands side. Noah Prosser on the wing, back up top to Pudignano. Pudignano right of the lane. Touch back to Egerton. Egerton coming near baseline. Trying to fight inside, couldn't get the shot to go. And Blaze Krisner, the rebound there for the Mustangs. Off to Rodney and across. Rodney right down the lane. We're going to have a foul called here on the floor, it looks like, on the Jags. Uh, Larry. His first. Second. Should be a second. You're right, the second. Team sixth. That happened when you were wrestling. With yeah, probably. Equipment. Trying to get us back on the air. Missed that foul. Brian had a panic attack earlier, folks. He was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, for some reason, the whole internet lo or the yeah. whole uh, press box lost internet. Yeah. South Union lost it as well, and we lost our phone feed, which was fed on the internet too. We had a charge call there on the Mustang. Went on Patrick Cavanaugh, his third. So we lost everything, video, audio, and we have a hardwired connection, which is odd as well. And unfortunately, it was happened during a point of the game. There wasn't a lot of scoring, so you yeah, didn't, didn't miss, miss much. You didn't miss very many baskets. Three near side off the mark there from Prosser. Black the rebound off to Rodney and across. Rodney Gallagher right down the lane, leaning in, the basket in one. So Rod being Rod there, Steve, six in the third. 14 for the game, can make it 15 at the foul line, and the lead now up to 16 at 41 to 25 with 2.34 left in the third. And that's a call I think you get. Gallagher gets it just because of who he is. Third uh, down on Lowry. That could easily have been a charge. Now Rodney, his free throw up on the way in good. Now Rod four for four from the foul line, 15 points. Lead at 17 at 42 to 25. Lowry back across, now with three personals, pulling it off to Sean Sullivan. Tight defense from Blaze Krisner. On the switch back with Lowry again. Krisner all over him, and they're gonna get Blaze for the foul. That was aggressive on both sides. Uh, give Krisner credit, he's in there hustling. Really uh, letting that defender, or let the offensive player from the Jaguars know he's there. And surprising uh, that he doesn't get uh, Keandre back in here pretty soon. But Second on Blaze. Yeah, that's only the third foul on the Mustangs. I don't know why they all went to the foul line. He certainly wasn't shooting, right? Not yet. 42-25. Lowry, touch back in the corner, Sullivan. Pulling it out, Brody Evans for three. Nothing but the bottom of the net there for Brody Evans. Fourth made three of the game for the Jags, and that three from Evans pulls Thomas Jefferson back to within 14. Krisner trying to answer back his three ball at the front of the rim, no good. Scrum for the loose ball, rebound and kept alive by Mason Bullish. Back to Krisner on the far wing, and now Bullish again. He'll fire from the outside. Came up short out the front of the rim. Rebound going there to Sean Sullivan for Thomas Jefferson. Sullivan working left to right. Back between the circles there to Lowry. Working on Krisner. 
Set near side, three ball on the way, in and out from Prosser. Gallagher the rebound, three on two coming back. Rodney off to Krisner with a left-hand finish. Plays Krisner, his first two off the Mustang bench. Laurel Highlands back up 16 at 44 to 28. 115 left here in the third. Lowry trying to work here on Krisner. Lowry on the inside, a little poke away and a foul call. They call that on Gallagher or Krisner. Let's see what they do. Yeah, Krisner, he was probably could have got a foul call a little earlier in that uh, in that sequence there. He was bumping him pretty good out there at the top of the key. This will be in the act. First of two free throws, no good for Lowry. And they're 0 for 3 from the free throw line this third quarter. Nearly 2 for 9, I think, for the game. And they do add one there. So Lowry, 6 points, 44-29, and sent ahead to Mason Bullish, who got blocked, and they're going to say fouled by Sean Sullivan. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> that looked like a pretty clean block, didn't it? So they got him with the body, so the Mustangs will take that. And almost could have been goaltending, right? Correct. Timeout. CJ will take one as well. 106 left here in the third. 44-29. Mustangs are back in 60. We're in the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Planning a sports fundraiser? B Graphics makes it easy. B Graphics will set up an online store with hats, t-shirts, hoodies, and other gear with your team and school logo. Ordering, shipping, payment, B Graphics handles everything, and you get a check with the profits. Minimal effort, maximum success. Call or go online to set up your online store at bgraphics.com. B-E-E -E, graphics with an X dot com. Best of the best, screen printing and embroidery, three years running. bgraphics.com. For attorney Jones, helping people with compassion and counseling, candid legal advice, strong advocacy, and professional commitment is what she does best. With an office at 99 East Main Street in downtown Uniontown, attorney Della Rose specializes in family law, municipal law, and general civil litigation, as well as personal injury, estate planning, probate, and more. For more information, call attorney Melinda Della Rose at 724-437-3200. 724-437-3200. Or online at DelaRoseLaw.com. Laura Island's a 44-29 lead over Thomas Jefferson on our Peachens Pharmacy scoreboard. Brownsville, another win, 75-30 over Waynesburg. Falcons now 4-1 overall, 2-0 in conference play. Their only loss came against Union Set. Good to see Rob Ramsey's squad playing well. At the foul line, first of two free throws, no good for Mason Bullish. Well, it's official. Uh, Brian, Tony, and I are now 0 for 15 years, if you count Wally in there. Professor. Well, Tony hit one when you yeah. weren't around well, a couple well, of years ago. Yeah. yeah, well, that doesn't count for me. <laughs> Bullish missed, missed, missed the yeah, I missed both, of them. both free throws. TJ back on the other side. A little poke away on the Sullivan drive. Kept alive Egerton. Another whistle. Check the foul here. Going to go on the Mustangs. Mason Bullish. This is kind of like, uh, you know, the worlds are kind of reversed here. The, it's kind of like the Seinfeld opposites in football. You know, we always lose to, everybody loses to TJ in football. And then in basketball, it's kind of a little bit reversed. But they're a little bit better in basketball than people would probably believe. And Mustangs have won nine of the last 11 meetings with Thomas yeah. Jefferson. And you got to remember, folks, that... Uh, they have a guy that averages 27 points a game that for some reason, undisclosed, they told us, is not in the lineup tonight. So we don't know if that was a injury, sickness, discipline, whatever it is, but he's not in there. And a big three up top, Ryan Lowry. So Lowry second made three. So you take away 27 points and... Makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah. This TJ team down only 12, still scrappy here in the final minute and some, of the third quarter. For some odd reason, the Keandre's still on the bench. You wonder if Coach Hogger got a little upset with that technical foul. Gallagher driving in, scoop shot, score at Rodney Gallagher. So Gallagher 9 here in the third, 17 for the game. It's a 46-32 lead for the Mustangs at 14 with 10 seconds left in the third. Near side, Lowry trying to reset from the foul line. Come back inside. Tough shot. Couldn't finish. Rebound, Krisner. And time. Are they going to say the bowl of shot got off? It did not. And he came up short. I think it would have counted, but he didn't make it. So, 46-32, Laurel Highlands after three. We're back with a fourth and 60 for the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. It's 
Holiday shopping has begun, you know. The hustle and bustle of busy streets and parking lots. Wouldn't it be better if there was a bus shuttle service where you wouldn't have to worry about anything other than shopping and making sure you got all of the gifts on your list? Wait, there is. Fayette Area Coordinated Transportation has a free shuttle service from their transfer center every Monday through Friday. That's right, free. Just park your car at the transfer center from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and forget all the fuss and get on the bus. No headaches this holiday season. FACT also has public transportation service at Pittsburgh area malls and shopping plazas. All FACT vehicles are handicapped accessible. For more information on routes and schedules, visit www.factbus.com. It's a FACT, we're Fayette County Public Transit. We're back here at Laurel Highlands High School, a 46-32 lead for the Mustangs over the Thomas Jefferson Jaguars. Mentioned our Peachens Pharmacy scoreboard, wins by Brownsville today over Waynesburg. Uniontown knocked off Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Laurel Highlands here up 14, ready to start the fourth quarter with Ryan Lowry bringing it back across, and Keandre DeShields is back out on the court now for the Mustangs, too shy of 1,000 for his career. On the near side, three on the way, good Noah Prosser. 13 for Prosser. He's right on his average. He's averaging, well, a little bit above that. He's averaging 12.2. Gallagher will switch with Antoine Black over to Keandre. He wonder if Keandre knows, I'm sure he knows now, having a chance to sit on that bench and contemplate life over there. <laughs> he's, uh, he knows he's two points away, and I bet you he's going to try to get some kind of slam. Has it here on the far side. Keandre working with the right of the lane, coming inside and gets 1,000 points for his career. The make in the end one. So congratulations, Keandre to Shields, 1,000 career points. We'll stop the game here with 7-16 left in regulation. The foul went on Sean Sullivan, his fourth. They have a nice little banner over there for Keandre. Not easy to do, Steve, 1,000 career points. They're going to have a little ceremony here now. And, uh, for Keandre with 7.16 left in regulation. A nice little team photo. And I don't think that's the same ball he just scored with because it's got some kind of insignia on it already, but uh, pretty nice. Uh, send that to your buddy Big George down there in Delaware. The only thing missing in that pitcher, Brian, is a foam finger. Yes. <laughs> Wasn't able to dunk it in, but 1,000 nonetheless. Yeah. Again, those points include totals he had at Uniontown during his freshman year, transferred from Uniontown to Laurel Highlands to start his sophomore season. So he's not a part of the first Laurel Highlands WPIL championship. Yep. Well, congratulations, Keandre to Shields, 1,000 career points. I don't know if they charge us a timeout for that. <laughs> well, I mean, we took enough time, didn't we? But deserving nonetheless. And Coach DeSico, obviously, uh, he's been around a few times, and uh, he was uh, <coughs> not upset at all with that. He, he understands the deal and, uh, you know, didn't look like he had any issues. Then it's the fourth quarter. Scoreboard still saying third, but we're tied into the scoreboard yeah. here at the gym as Keandre makes the free throw to give him 1,001 for his career. And Lowry back on the other side. TJ now down 14. Evans trying to set the screen. Putting the corner to Prosser. Up top again, Evans. Mustangs looking to improve to 5-0 and on the season. Sullivan right of the lane. Near side, Pudignano. And last year, Laurel Highlands went 27-0 before that loss against Gateway in the state quarterfinals. They'll enter another game against the Gators, undefeated if they hang on here. Coming up on Thursday after a TJ miss alley -oop. Attempt coming back, but Keandre couldn't send it in. He goes back to Ryan Lowry. Over to Prosser, posts up for the three, rattles out. Offensive rebound, Pudignano keeping it alive. Reset back up top, and another three rattling out. Noah Prosser, oh. Jags probably think there's tight rims here, Steve. Well, I tell you what, if you're Prosser, though, I'd keep keep firing away. He's got a nice stroke, and he, that, you know, that ball went everything but in right there, in and out. 
you know, Keandre sitting on 19 points, 1,001 right now. You know he wants a dunk it before this is over. A special night. You have many of the fans wearing Keandre 1K T-shirts. And you got, uh, you know, it's a, you know, it's not a complete blowout, but it's just pretty comfortable right now with the score. In control up 14 with 6.09 to play on the drive in. Tough shot, but Sean Sullivan able to get it to go. He has six. And Sullivan's kind of scrappy. He, he is. Get some Jags back to within points. 12, down 49 to 37. There's Keandre high on the left. Watch there by Sullivan. Keandre on the far elbow, jumper up and good. Keandre to Shields. Five here in the fourth, 21 for the game. And the Mustangs lead at 51 to 37. 5.33 to play. Mm -hmm. Sullivan over to Lowry again. Lowry, leaner with a left hand, no good. He's sniffing around up top there. He's wanting to get a little breakaway. Foul called off the rebound. Yep, Lowry, that's his fourth, yeah. So now the fouls are mounting up on the Jaguars. And that'll be, uh, Leighton will get a chance at the free throw line as he gets to shoot the one and one. Bell Vernon, a big win over McKeesport tonight, 98-72. Front end of the one and one, no good there from Shane Leighton. In Bell Vernon, Uniontown, and Laurel Highlands all in the same conference this year. It's a big win for the Leps and stepping out of bounds. Noah Prosser. Quentin Martin did play for Bell Vernon tonight. And that 26 point win. And I think here, Steve, before the end of 2022, we're going to know a lot about this Laurel Highlands team if you look at the opponents over the next three games. Gateway, Lincoln Park, and West Philadelphia. Well, you can pretty much know what you have before conference play starts. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if they lose a game or two either, you know, just to keep the focus, if you will. Keandre, nice drive and another finish. Keandre, seven here in the fourth, 23 for the game, lead at 16 and 53 to 37 as we go under five minutes left in regulation. If you're playing at that Peterson event center, nobody's going to care whether they lost a game or two, are they? No, I agree. We'll switch back here. Sean Sullivan between defenders, floating it up, trying to get it over. Gallagher couldn't finish. Got his own rebound. Second attempt on the possession. Again, no good. And Gallagher out of the pack with it. Here's Rodney Gallagher going coast to coast with the finish. That was sweet coming back, Steve. You have Gallagher 19. Got to love the control. Lead at 18. Sullivan for three coming back. No good. Offensive rebound. Egerton fouled on the putback attempt. Shot attempt. No good. And Egerton. Pair of free throws. It's going to probably be on Gallagher. Yep. Should be his first foul, yeah. Well, the Mustangs pulling away now, but it was, uh, if you weren't watching earlier, it was a lot closer in that first half. Egerton missing on the first of two free throws. 55-37, Laurel Highlands. 421 to play. Egerton is second of two. Again, no good. Keandre bringing it back across. Keandre right down the lane with the finish. That's too easy. Keandre That's now Pasico. 25 tonight. Pasico won't be happy with that when he looks at the film tomorrow. Sullivan traps. And he'll throw it off for the Mustangs and outs. So Laurel Highlands lead now 20 at 57 at 37. With 4.04 left in regulation. That's 25 points for the Shields now, right on his average. In the corner, three coming up short there from Prosser. That's the one. Oh, good. In. Yeah, popped up, popped and, up and in. Wow. Is that a three? Yes. I was going to miss it, Steve, and it rolled right back in. Yeah, well, it Too popped quick on up the call in the there. air. It was a long, looked like one of your putts rolling around, staying on top of the lip, and then dropping. Yeah, mine you. don't drop, though. Gallagher, no look feed down to late and touch back out. Keandre. Keandre thought about the slam and will still get the basket in one. Really hot here in the fourth quarter. 27 now for the game. Lead at 
19 at 59 of 40. That should be it for Lowry. He'll foul out with nine points. Good effort by the kid. Uh, he played pretty, pretty hard. 336 left in the fourth. Lowry ends his game. And now Keandre looking for another free throw. 27 already tonight, and he'll stay at 27 for now, missing that free throw off the front of the rim. Jags back across. That's Cody Karcher. His shot attempt no good, and that one deflected out. It's going to be ruled off of Shane Layton. So Thomas Jefferson will keep possession. And Steve, I think we can pretty much give our player of the game, courtesy of Fayette County Commissioner Vince Facides, to Keandre DeShields for his 27-point game, going over 1,000 career points. And we have a timeout taken by Thomas Jefferson. We'll take one as well. 59-40 Laurel Highlands, 324 to play. We're back at 60 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. Going on now at CR for Chevrolet. Get a new 2023 Chevy Equinox for only $269 per month. Stop in for a test drive or visit CHarperChevy.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. Lease the for well qualified individuals, 24 months, 10,000 miles yearly, with 2,999 cash trade equity down, with GMLE's loyalty or conquest. Payment of full tax title fees and for payment. Sale ends January 3rd, 2023. While supplies last, call dealer for all other details at 724 99 8000. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. 324 left in regulation. 59 to 40. Laurel Highlands leading Thomas Jefferson. Again, Keandre DeShields over 1,000 career points tonight. With 27 points still on the court for the Mustangs. They lead by 29 or by 19. 59 to 40. The 320 left. Sullivan down low. We'll get the basket in one with a foul being called there on Shane Layton. So Sullivan, four here in the fourth, eight for the game. TJ backed within 17 with 317 to play. Jags just one timeout remaining. Laurel Highlands four to work with if they need them. Now Sullivan, free throw off the front of the rim, no good. Keandre the rebound. You surprised, Steve, that Keandre is not getting more Division I looks, whether it's football or basketball? Uh, well, you know, it's hard to tell, Brian, he, you know, what these guys looking at. I mean, it's football is really tough because we didn't really, really throw the ball to him. You know, he didn't get a lot of uh, – you couldn't really tell if he's a great receiver or not because they never threw – we just, you know, Gallagher was uh, – Drop back and run first, throw second kind of guy. Make there from Prosser. I'll tell you what, he's a heck of an athlete. Yeah. Whether it's football or basketball, and certainly deserves some looks out there. Gallagher driving a miss, going out of bounds. We'll stay with Laurel Highlands. Lead now down to 15, to 59, to 44. Get a complete line change now for the Jags. Basketball, he's yeah. uh, he's certainly terrific. I mean, it's just a odd size for Division One, right? He what, 6'3". Six, six, you know, that's kind of small for Division One. And alley-oop, tip and attempt there, no good. Keandre's going to get it back, and he'll get fouled going back up. I mean, he'd be an All-American Division Three player, right? I mean, uh, if he played, but he wants, you know, obviously he's, uh, you know. Division One aspirations for sure. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, well, you just never know, bro. You get in there, and you get somebody throwing the ball, and they teach him how to catch a football. Um, you know, he could be a superstar, you know? Deserves a chance, I think, Steve. Yeah. Whether he wants to pursue football or basketball. I've seen a lot of guys over the years that uh, coaches told them they weren't good enough. They ended up starting and playing and going to the pros, and you just never know. There's a I mean? throwaway coming back across there on the attempt up the floor from... And we've seen a lot of guys that were supposed to be world beaters and never made, did anything, you know. So you just never know. But he definitely has the athletic ability. And you can't argue with the fact anybody that can dunk and fly around. And, well, there's a nice shot there by number uh, Ringer, right? That's 13 Ringer. His first two. But anybody that can, you know, 
go to the hoop and make plays like he can. I would think some football coach. Uh, there's a basket by Feth. And uh, some football coach would find a spot for him. And, and uh, you know, but he definitely looks like a. Yeah, you think about look at look at with his jumping ability. Oh, here we there go. There you go another alley oop, and yeah. Sam went over his head that time and out of bounds. One forty-five to play. Mustangs up sixty-two to forty-six. You got to look at it the way these coaches look. And he's going to come out of the game and a good job. Him and Gallagher come out. Kavanaugh, but you can imagine. I mean, we see him now. We're looking at him flying around the court. But you got to look at it four years from now when he's older. He's in a weight room. He's bigger. I mean, can you imagine? Be a different player. He, I mean, he could be, a, you know, one if he keeps the weight where he is now and he, they keep him at wide receiver, you know, that's one thing. But what if the, somebody makes him a tight end with that jumping ability, you know? Yeah, it certainly would change yeah. things up. Yeah. Two there from Brady Kraus for Thomas Jefferson. We see that a lot, though, no matter what the level is, Steve. You see kids that get cut or maybe don't excel at a younger level. You look at Jadis Kennedy, for instance, uh, three reigned in there. From Jaden Ringer, he is five here in the fourth quarter. He was cut by a Uniontown Junior High team and just went over 1,000 career points at Geibel in his career. Yeah. Yeah, you never know. But he definitely, he can definitely play somewhere. There's another long yeah, one. Yeah, they're answering back threes. Danger. Noah Kazer coming back for TJ. So a lot of these guys getting some playing time coming in. And Coach Hogger is going to take a quick timeout. 65, 51, 54 seconds left. We'll burn a quick 30 here as well on the CR Prada Group. High School Sports Night. Quality care doesn't have to be hard to find. NovaCare Rehabilitation has locations in Uniontown and Masontown and is accessible for all of your recovery needs. Same-day appointments and no referral needed means making an appointment is an easy process. Industry-leading treatments, including LBST Big Therapy for Parkinson's disease, which increases mobility, improves balance, and decreases time necessary to complete tasks, are available at both locations. These services supplement NovaCare's exceptional orthopedic, concussion, and vestibular dysfunction resources. Don't miss the opportunity to personalize your care with NovaCare. Back here at Laurel Highlands, final minute. Thomas Jefferson with the basketball. It's kicked in the corner. Three on the way. Good from Zach Rubinoff. And they're getting everybody involved out their bench. Steve Krause, Feth, Kazer, and Rubinoff all with baskets off the bench here in the fourth quarter. They've cut the Laurel Highlands lead to 11. 12 seconds left. That's two of them for Rubinoff. He's got uh, six points. Little ball fake there from Ringer. Try to pull it back. Travel called with 4.4 left. That'll do it. One last inbound here to finish things off. And Rubinoff will send it in. And over to Hayden Feth. He'll dribble it out, and that'll do it. Your final score, Laurel Island 65, Thomas Jefferson 54. Stay tuned for our postgame show. Brought to you by South Union Township Supervisor Rick Vernon. It comes your way next year on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. When your car is damaged, the name to remember is Ted Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair. Currently in their 59th year of providing quality, reliable service to the community, Ted Silva and Son offers complete collision service, minor to major repairs, frame and unibody repair, and glass installation. They will gladly blueprint your vehicle for repair, and they will work with your insurance company. With a paint booth that utilizes the environmentally friendly waterborne paint process, Ted Silva and Son not only cares for our community and our children, they care for our environment. Located on Atlas Road in Hopwood, it is the goal of Ted Silva and Son to alleviate the stress of an accident and assist you in any way possible. Family owned and operated for 59 years, call 724-437-2351 for Ted Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair, LLC. Proud to sponsor local high school sports. Hello, this is your Fayette County Commissioner, Vince Facides. There is nothing more exciting than high school sports. As a graduate of Laura Highlands and a letterman myself, I know all the athletes work extra hard to be competitive, plus maintain their study skills. Again, this is Commissioner Vince Facides saluting all the young contestants for their efforts. Good luck and may the best team prevail. And the winner is... Keep your legal needs close to home. Attorney Vincent T. Berry specializes in criminal justice, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. Attorney T. Berry is located at 84 East Main Street across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Uniontown. 
When you need to consult an attorney, make your first call to attorney Vince T. Berry. It will be the only call you need to make. 